Hey, welcome back to Theme Park Tycoon 2, where today, as you can see, my park is looking a hell of a lot better than it did before. Um, I'm sorry to people who were hoping that, you know, maybe I'd cover this in the series. I've kind of just ripped up the whole park, rebuilt about half of it, and then decided, eh, you know, I guess it's fine. It'd be time to update people a bit. But the problem with a lot of this stuff was just kind of quite long and boring anyway. Before I lose everyone who clicked onto this video, let's talk about what I've actually done to this place. So, first off, we've got this new, like, monorail, I think, viaduct, what it's called. But, uh, as you can see, what we've done here is use primitives to make these nice little arches, especially the part I like the most is this one under here, which took me a while to figure out how to do. But if I pick it now, as you can see, we use the Taurus clipped cuboids to make this little area. I genuinely, I was so happy when I got this finished. I, <laughs> it was quite honestly sad how enjo how like how much I enjoyed finishing that. Um, and as you can see, we ran the monorail over that because before the monorail just kind of dipped into a tunnel here and then came out somewhere over there. Well, about where the station is actually. Um, Whereas now, we've got this nice little arch bridge with the welcome sign on it. Hello, Dylan. I'm sorry, I was kind of staring at your bum for a second. <laughs> Either way, right, so through here, obviously, we're keeping with the style of trees and bushes. It is just, you know, something simple and I think quite nice looking. Um, but either way, right, so we've got this new centerpiece in the middle now. Before, this was like a tinsy little fountain. Uh, that really just kind of looked pathetic and also wasn't like, you know, you had, I think there was like some weird setup in the middle where there was some trees or something, it was stupid, but either way, now we've got this and, you know, you've got this like grand walkway right into the park, down to here, and to be honest, this junction I struggled with a little bit because it's kind of not very well laid out in terms of the parts of the park that I needed to connect to it. Uh, so, as you can see, there's like this giant mountain in the way right behind it. There's this one here, this one here, this one here that all needed linking up, and they're just all, it's just awful. But I think I've settled on quite a nice solution here, and actually, to make this part, this path seem like it has a reason to exist, I added a gift shop, which is just a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty basic building, but I think I did a good job here. So, we've got some like roof trims and roofs and everything. But obviously, I had to make the roof a different color from the rest of the building because otherwise it would just look a bit stupid. And a little arch on the inside here. I quite like the architecture here, but I I know it's a bit basic. Is but I don't know what I'm going to do to improve this. But if you have any ideas, then hey, let me know. Um. Either way, right, let's head down now to the food court. Obviously, we've got some leveling here, which we didn't before. Uh, this park, I mean, it literally used to be so flat here. <laughs> it was just no, no, like, difference in height at all. And I think it's probably one of the main reasons why it looks so bad. Because I literally, like, I just did this part first, because obviously I kind of had to lower it before I could fill it in. And already, it just made everything look so much better. Genuinely, like, biggest recommendation for any park. So obviously, we've got this nice little area, and then it ducks underground for the food court. Now, the problem with food courts is realistically, like, the one we had before was over here where I've put the skylight in now. And it was, like, open air, and it was... The thing is, right, it didn't look terrible, but it's hard to make something like this look amazing. So... The solution that I found is basically just to bury it. <laughs> There's not really much else you can do with these places, but to be fair, I still think it looks pretty good here. You know, we've got some more arches based on these bridges up here, which are also annoyingly unaligned. Look at that. They're like, what out? That is... I mean, it's awful, but it's not really something you notice, so we'll, we can deal with it later. I mean, it's pretty basic. We've got tables here, we've got a skylight, because otherwise I thought this place would look a little bit too sort of plain. 
And then we come out here, obviously we've got signs. The, I think the signs are good for just like breaking things up a bit, because obviously, you know, we've got these like long paths, and it's just nice to have a bit of a sort of landmark in the way up covering the path, rather than it all sort of being the same area, I guess, if that makes any sense. But then we're into Kitty Land, which... Okay, there's not really much I can say about this other than I basically made everything lower and put the rides in here. Um, as you can see, we've got a bit of a different colour on the fence. Oh, okay, a different, bit of a different type of fencing here. But, you know, I know, extraordinary. And then we get round to the former Cool Kids Castle, which is now, as you can see, in ruins and not finished because I forgot to put that part in. Great. <laughs> but yeah. We've got this nice grand staircase, which, okay, I, I'll be honest, this is kind of just because I had to, because annoyingly, uh, without, like, remove collisions, you can't place, like, these bushes and trees and everything on slopes, but it does look quite cool as an entrance to the castle area, so we've got that, and also, these fences, okay, this is, I'm having to decide whether I want to do these or the rope ones. Because theoretically, if these looked better, then I think I would definitely stay with them. But I think just because, like, look how terrible. But I'm sorry, Dennis, or whatever your name is, but what what were you thinking here? These look horrific. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got this area up here. Obviously, before the castle literally came, like, round to about, I'd say, where the edge of these two rides are now. Uh, there was a bit of room here for like, I, was, I don't remember everything, but <laughs> it was definitely, it wasn't great, let's just put it that way. <laughs> so instead, we've just cut this back here. This wall, I'll be honest, this wall is only here because otherwise you sort of see over to this, wait, hang on, I can look that for credits? Hold her! Oh no! Oh, this is so annoying. Hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's going to mean I have to remodel my entire park again. Because now I've got like this whole new thing I can do that I couldn't before. Eh, we'll, like, we're just going to pretend those plots. Oh, we can't unlock those plots, I think. That's the uh, Because I'm not. No. <laughs> no! I, I've never been so upset to find out that I, ha I can unlock more space. Anyway. Around here we've got the new monorail station where I just decided, you know, randomly, eh, I'll throw some Roman architecture in, because, you know, I haven't got any. <laughs> just, the, what have, what have we not used yet? Yeah, just throw that in, which, okay, I say I did it completely randomly. I do think it looks quite nice here, especially we've got, like, these open windows here, got a bit, you know, a bit texturing on the building rather than it just being a, like, white husk up. <laughs> so, oh my god, really? I, I need to put a bin in here somewhere. There's, I can't lie, there's not really much room, but you know, let's just quickly, while we're here, let's make at least one change while I'm recording this, and insert a little bin there. Which, okay, I don't really like how that looks like it's blocking the path, but Serena doesn't care, she just walks right through, so does Sullivan. <laughs> right, anyway, so this area, well, okay, there's there's a major change down here, but while we go through here, just went out, well, okay, I didn't do it, I forget, I forgot to do it, was that I was going to expand these sort of, you know, the pumpkins and the schools onto this side, because I've decided this is now going to also be part of our little haunted hollow area, but apparently I forgot. Um, either way, we've got the newly renamed the Disorientator, which was actually the original title of the video, but no one wanted to watch a video titled that, so I changed it. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about that here. No one cares. Anyway, oh my god, really? There's more rubbish. Oh, I'm so. Well, that's that's a top tip to improve your park. Actually, put bins down because apparently I just forgot to even. Okay, you can kind of see how much I spammed them here, <laughs> but in general, apparently I haven't. Um. So here we've got the spookily good restaurant. That was basic. I kind of just took the gift shop over here. It was like, let's just build that, but smaller and without the little like two tier thing that I did over there. 
And yet again, as you can see, there's just a couple stems here, but if we go downstairs, we've got this whole, like, food court area, which Ellie just seems to be... Ellie? Ellie? What is wrong with you? Why are you... <laughs> Your, like, chest must be destroyed by the, all those tables you just walked through. Just gone straight through about seven tables, you absolute madwoman. <laughs> anyway, down here we've got some toilets. Uh, I do actually need to add more toilets around the park in general, but they just don't look all that great. And of course, some food stalls here. But anyway, let's get out of here because, quite honestly, Ellie is freaking me out now. <laughs> and up to an area that I haven't actually named. I don't really plan to either, to be honest, but it's. It's here, nonetheless, right? Anyway, because we've got a new building over here, and actually I need to fill in some of the trees here, but just ignore that for now. Um, right, before, what used to happen is that the monorail trains would literally just come down, there was like a platform and nothing else. Um, but now, what we've got here is a lot better. Basically, the monorail stays at the same height, but instead, this little castle station thing goes up to it, and... As you can see, you can kind of just get on here and uh, get on the monorail, get on the monorail, right? Because this is probably going to be the fastest way through to the next part of the park I want to show you. And I really should fix this tunnel. You can really tell that I just haven't bothered putting like stone around the outside. Um, but here we are, right? Oh, why are you running away from me? No! <laughs> anyway, right, so here is yet another slight change I've made. Well, first off, we've got more signs in now, but also we've got the new monorail station here as well. We've got, you know, another bit of levelling, and again, like, levelling and, you know, using different heights is so much of, like, an improvement to your park. It is great. I, I'm so upset I didn't discover it earlier, because now it takes things like basically demolishing an entire section of the park to change it, but... It is, like, literally the best, um, for changing your bark, <laughs> so take note of that. But there is only one more thing to show, which is that I have now actually gone and added some lighting along here in the form of torches. Um, I haven't got figured out what I want to do with the lighting around that part of the park yet. It's just because, like, I don't know, It there's not really any type of lighting that fits very well. But this just means that at night time, you know, it's got it's all lit up rather than having <laughs> basically a walk through like darkness to all the rides. I don't I guess some part you know, obviously over here's lit up and everything, but this is you know, it's just I don't look, I don't know, it just makes it look nicer, okay? I still I still need to add more decoration to this water area at some point. I will do, but I keep forgetting. Um either way, thank you so much for watching click the series on screen now or video i haven't decided yet to see more of what this park looked like beforehand and also how i built some of these rides i mean there's the disorientator got a coaster that goes backwards the, this coaster goes about 500 miles an hour it is insane and there's so much um in this park that i think is really cool that you can check out and then there's also things like the cool kids castle which just look horrendous but either way thank you so much for watching goodbye